So, Richard, can you just explain if um, the differences between the new regulations, the IVDR and MDR, with regards to labelling compared to the directives, if any? I think the the differences in the labelling between the medical devices directives and in vitro diagnostic directives and the new regulations in both areas, they're not massive difference. It's really the emphasis on detail and just the overall emphasis and the importance that's attached to getting these things right going forwards. I think the biggest singular shift between those is the inclusion of unique device identification um, because we've got to fit many companies had barcodes on their products going into this. Now everybody has to, and they have to go through this process of doing it. And that has a large impact, uh, not only on the design of the labels, but on how you're going to print them. Because you've now got to have a way of printing barcodes, uh, which are lot specific. Uh, and that's technically uh, quite a challenge uh, in a lot of, and requires quite a bit of investment from a lot of companies. Uh, but you know, the content, the requirement uh, with regards to you know, what's in the label and the things it's talking about, about you know, the sterility of the product, the description of the product and things like that, that hasn't fundamentally changed, although we're getting a, a lot more new symbols coming in to address the requirements of the new regulations.